as I said in the beginning, you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg peeking out from the ocean top. I told you, all personalities in the field of great influence are initiated members of Freemasonry. Otherwise, they wouldn't be there. Within 60 seconds of me telling you what international Freemasonry really is, I'll prove it to you. Unequivocally, within 60 seconds. And then I'm going to drive it home, and then I'm going to show you what they're planning with this new age they're implementing, and then the conclusion, which is by far the most important part of this presentation. So when you hear me tell you the truth in just a moment, don't switch off in disbelief, because you can't believe that your favorite idol or whoever could possibly be involved, like you know them or something. You don't know these people. You do know that they're under oath never to reveal their beliefs to you. The vile multitude. It's time to trust your eyes now, not your feelings. Especially after all that I've shown you. This is why the secret religion is so hidden. This is why it's so ingeniously designed through layers of lies upon lies, cloak upon cloak, and oath upon oath, concealing the truth for its chosen few. What is Freemasonry? What is the most secret yet mo most powerful religion in the world? Well, that's easy. We live in an evil, evil world. So there's only one religion that befits it. Freemasonry is Satanism in disguise. Now start the clock. From morals and dogma, prepared for the Supreme Council for 33rd degree. That's the highest degree in Freemasonry and written by the undisputed heavyweight champion of modern Freemasonry, Albert Pike. On page 321, he boldly states, Lucifer, the light bearer. Strange and mysterious name to give to the spirit of darkness. Lucifer, son of the morning. Is it he who bears the light? Doubt it not. Did you hear that? Lucifer is God and do not doubt it. Come on now, stay with me. Here from the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry, written by 33rd degree Freemason, a beloved member of the craft, Albert Mackey. He tells us whose name represents the good principle in Freemasonry's secret worldview, writing under the Masonic meaning of the word pentagram. He says that the pentagram, depending on its position, represents good or evil. See how he puts the positive aspect in the first position? Good first, evil second. Good or evil, light or darkness, victory or death, initiation or profanation, Lucifer or Vespa. Lucifer is good. Lucifer is light. Lucifer is victory. And Lucifer is true initiation. See, if you're not initiated, you're profane. If you haven't figured out that God is Lucifer, you're vulgar and profane. You're stupid in their own words. That's the beginning of their big secret. God is the devil. And we're already in hell right now. Now from the Freemason of the Century, Manly Hall. And this will make it three out of three legends of Freemasonry stating the same thing. In the Lost Keys of Freemasonry on page 76. When the Mason learns that the key to the warrior on the block is the proper application of the dynamo of living power, he has learned the mystery of his craft. The seething, surging energies of Lucifer are in his hands. Do you see? The world's hidden religion with its universal one-eye symbolism, who was revealed slowly and by degrees only to its dedicated members, is Satanism, or Luciferianism as they prefer to call it. Now all the oaths make sense, don't they? Now all the rituals make sense. Now all the penalties make sense. And their secret signs and symbols and handshakes all make sense. While the bulk of Freemasons make the external image of the fraternity and know nothing of who rules over them and who or what they're protecting. But which craft do you think the Freemason of the century is talking about here? Which craft? Which craft? Which craft? 
witchcraft. You need to slowly wake up now. Witchcraft is the royal art of Freemasonry, jealously guarded and reserved for the few. I'll show you clear as day that this is in fact, is in fact true. This is the symbol of Satanism. And this is the symbol of the Lodge of Female Freemasonry called the Order of the Eastern Star. Look at that. Satanism, Freemasonry. Trust your eyes. This is the symbol of the Church of Lucifer founded by a 33rd degree Freemason, which I'll prove. Look at the Masonic square and compass in the design. The Church of Satan and Lucifer. Two sides of the same coin, nurtured and brought to an organized international level of power and influence by Freemasonry, in secret, and all done right under our noses. And if you think that your politicians or religious leaders or favorite idols can't be a part of this, you have to try and snap out of it or suspend your everyday beliefs just for a moment, and I will clearly show you how it's not only possible, but it's actual. Please, I feel like it's now or never. If you don't get a glimpse of this now, then when? Who else is going to tell you this? When will you next be confronted with this? This is reality. And as much as you thought that ordinary people came into positions of power through hard work or concern for society or family connections combined with brains and talent, that's not the case. That's the fantasy. This is the reality. They all go through Freemasonry. You think that Sam Worthington was so talented that he was picked over all those American actors to star in Avatar? Of course not. He was a Freemason. And so was the director, James Cameron, of the highest caliber. You have to remember that to them, Lucifer is good. Lucifer is the liberator. Jesus is the suppressor. Lucifer is pure love. Jesus is impure love. Lucifer left heaven for you. Jesus was crucified because he was a false messiah. The world has always been deceptive and we have been magnificently deceived. Here is an incredible example. Pay attention. This should blow your mind. Charles Darwin, the father of atheism and rationalism, was an initiated Freemason. Doing the hidden hand of Freemasonry in this picture. And the vow of silence in this one. This would have re remained unknown to us because no one's going to teach us this. But now we have the tools to see his beliefs, not through his words, but through his signs and symbols. I told you, they can't help but to show off their religions. Because they think we're stupid, vile and ignorant. And I've proven that to you as well. So once again, are you going to prove them right by switching off and ignoring this? Well, unfortunately... More than 90% of you will. What I'm giving you here is priceless knowledge because no amount of money or success can substitute its importance. And I'm risking everything, everything but my own salvation, to share it with you. If only for the, for the few of you. Think about what you've just seen here with Charles Darwin because I don't know if you got it. You cannot be accepted as a candidate of Freemasonry unless you believe in a supreme being as exemplified here with Phil Collins, speculated by some to be an atheist, but this seems impossible because being a Freemason, he has to believe in a higher power, or more accurately, supreme being. And I can personally vouch for that. And look here in the Masonic Oath itself. The candidate says, I will not aid or be present at the initiation of an atheist, a madman, or a fool. Freemasonry believes that to be an atheist is to be the equivalent of a madman. And they're right. Yet while they propagate atheism around the world, in universities and schools, Charles Darwin himself was a believer in an intelligent designer, a supreme being. He had to be because he's a Freemason. And that intelligent designer that gave birth to us is named Lucifer in the highest degrees of Freemasonry. See? Never tell. He lied to you because that's what Freemasons do. The whole thing is a giant lie that was carefully constructed by mutilating the truth because mutilated truths make the most successful lies. 
This is the secret to their success. A lying tongue and a lying spirit from the first degree to the 33rd degree to each other and to us. I've proven that as well. And what did Jesus, how did he, how did he describe their God? The father of lies. How accurate. The one who comes to cheat, kill and destroy. How accurate again when I tell you their plans. Look here. Charles Darwin is noted as an influential figure by the satanic temple. And proof for them, apart from the intelligent design that is all around us, that Lucifer is real and that he's the god of this realm, is the power of witchcraft or magic. Magic works because there's a hierarchy or a pyramidal power structure in the spirit realm, a realm devoid of any love for you. And these spirits can be conjured up and summoned by the practitioners of the royal art of Freemasonry. They ask for something in return, however. Listen to Bob Dylan, a Freemason. Hidden hand, one-eye symbolism. Out here doing these songs, you know, you're still on tour. I do, but I don't take it for granted. Why do you still do it? Why are you still out here? Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. You know, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my hand. What was your bargain? To get where uh, I am now. Should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth and in, uh, and in a world we can't see. How does one communicate with Bob Dylan's chief commander, Lucifer? By the jealously guarded Royal Art of Freemasonry. Witchcraft. This is from the Encyclopedia of American Religions. Secrecy is bolstered by a system of initiations and degrees, the Freemasonic system. The material which is kept secret is the magical knowledge of the group. This knowledge may consist of rituals and powerful magical formulas. Do you think J.K. Rowling is an Luciferian? In this article, J.K. Rowling reveals the inspiration behind the Deathly Hallows symbol. And what is it? The Masonic Squaring Compass, with the one eye that are all the celebrities mimic. That's the inspiration. They're all members of the secret society. If you think that doesn't prove anything, here she is with her new tattoo. It says Solve Coagula. Also a song titled by fellow Freemason Marilyn Manson. And where does it come from? Here, the Baphomet. The image of Lucifer as conceptualized by another Freemason, Eliphas Levi, in his book, The Doctrine of Transcendental Magic. This horrid thing, with breasts, a penis, and a goat's head with two horns, has these words written on its arms, Solve Coagula. The impact of the meaning of these two words should disturb you to soberness when I tell you about them. Because apart from other things, they involve the process in which the new system will be implemented at unbelievable cost to you and I. Here's a statue of the, ba of the Baphomet at the temple, satanic temple, complete with two little kids admiring it. That's J.K. Rowling's religion, Satanism. The secret religion for the highly evolved and the highly successful. Welcome to the real world. The same Masonic author writes in The Doctrine of Transcendental Magic, in the ceremonies practiced at reception by all secret societies, there are found indications of a doctrine which is everywhere carefully concealed, and that is witchcraft. And in his history of magic, he tells us it is the royal art. And that's what Freemasonry calls it. And where did he get his inspiration for the Baphomet? From the Knights Templar, another secret society who were banned, and some of its members were executed in the 1300s for glorifying evil, as it's openly stated here in the Satanic Rituals. And where do modern day Knights Templars reside now? Within high degree of Freemasonry. Right here. Again from the encyclopedia. And listen to this. The continuing impact of speculative Freemasonry, which means modern day Freemasonry, provided fertile soil in which new magical orders could grow. Magical orders. Meaning other branches of secret societies of which Freemasonry is the umbrella. 
Because Freemasonry is the king of secret societies. Just like JFK tried to tell us, it's the prestigious channel that one must go through. And it is the reason that the oldest religion in the world has made a colossal comeback and is now on the brink of success. Which, as I said, nothing can stop now. And again from the encyclopedia, the groups wear ritual garb and meet in ma magical lodges. And where do Masons meet? In the Masonic Lodge. Like here with a magical pentagram on their checkered floorboard. Are you believing your eyes? Or are you making excuses? Here's another statue of the Baphomet at a satanic temple doing the sign of the horned god Lucifer. The hand sign mimicking the horns on his head. And of course, the upside down cross. And here's Barack Obama doing the same sign. And the sign of silence with a twist. Who do you think he's mocking here? You and I. But mainly Christians. Because Christianity is the one force that has stood between you and the inconceivable horror that is awaiting us and is on its way. Here's an article on Barack Obama. And that's his hands adjusting his presidential seal. And there's his Masonic ring. And the sign of the devil's horns. Over and over. Freemasonry and Satanism are intertwined. Look at these Masonic politicians throwing up the devil's horns. George W. Bush. Look how sneaky and sinister the look on his face is he. And the manner in which he's delivering the sign. In front of the whole world. Is he a fan of rock music? Is he saying I love you in sign language for the deaf, like some people like to say? This is his fraternal order called Skull and Bones, also known as the Order of Death, where you lie naked in a coffin with what's called a temple prostitute during initiation. Clearly a Masonic order with this guy displaying the hidden hand of Freemasonry. In Stanley Kubrick's last movie before his death, he's telling you that all prominent members of industry, including politics, as the movie goes on to show, are members of a satanic secret society. In it, he shows the members engage in an orgy and feast after the ceremony of dedication to their horned god. To identify which secret society he's referring to, he leaves the clues in the artwork. Not once, not twice, but three times. The one-eyed religion. And who do you think the title of the movie is dedicated to? None other than the stupid, ignorant and uninitiated masses watching the movie. And you know it now. He knew that when we'd leave the cinema, we'd be commenting on the performance of Tom Cruise or giggling about the orgy scene or just being disappointed because the movie went too long or some other meaningless critique with eyes wide shut. Look at the cover of his other movie, A Clockwork Orange. The eye on top of the pyramid. And on his shirt, the word devil in Italian. Let me take it up a notch in case this isn't registering. Listen to the founder of the Satanic Church, Anton LaVey, tell us in his book, The Satanic Rituals, which is a companion to the Satanic Bible, Masonic orders have contained the most influential men in many governments, and virtually every occult order has many Masonic roots. This is back in 1972 he said this. Now 40 years later it should read all governments, not many. And why is the founder of the Church of Satan talking about Freemasonry, the most respectable and charitable fraternity in the world, that no one seems to talk about and that we never hear about in school? This is why. Because the Satanic ritual is a blend of Gnostic, Kabbalistic, Hermetic, and Masonic elements. That's crazy because Freemasonry is a blend of Gnostic, Kabbalistic, and Hermetic elements too. Any Masonic writer will confirm that. But how can that be? Because Freemasonry is Satanism in disguise. On page 106, every right of the Black Order employed Masonic principles. Every right of these Black Orders, one of which was called Freunden von Lucifer which translates to Friends of Lucifer. And guess what? There are numerous manifestations of Satanism in Masonic ritual, including the goat, the coffin, and the death's head. 
Please awaken, O sleeper, and let the glorious light of the truth dawn upon your sleepy eyes. How did Freemasonry get away with this? Just like Jesus, the greatest enemy of theirs said they would, by dressing the wolves as sheep. A satanic underground, carefully cloaked in tr Christian trappings. That's how Freemasonry got away with it. We can't find out about it because they run the media and the education system clearly. John F. Kennedy was brutally assassinated after he attempted to inform us that we are opposed around the world by a monolithic conspiracy. Did he know that Lucifer was the god of Freemasonry? I don't know. The Grand Master of my lodge, who was the mayor of the city, was a 32nd degree Freemason. That's one short of the top, one short of the true beginning of the secret religion. And he had no idea what Freemasonry really was. After 42 years in the lodge, they never invited him into the 33rd degree initiation because he couldn't see past the Christian trappings as they were designed to do exactly that, trap the Christian or trap anyone else who was too sensitive to behold the truth. Thus, Freemasonry could halt their progress at any time without suspicion because it's a rare thing to reach the 33rd degree and every Freemason knows that. So that there are no rude awakenings that take place with those that aren't ready to embrace Lucifer as the true God of Freemasonry and the world. This is an ingenious system birthed by what must have been demonic inspiration. Anton LaVey says that this ingenious system I speak of serves as a rudimentary screening process for organized Satanism. Exactly right. It's a filtering process, as I've said earlier, an international filtering process from which men and women are picked and permitted to enter the world stage. And I'm saying all this for those who are naively think that politics and magic ritual do not mix. That's the founder of the Satanic Church. He admits that. Admissions that were never heeded because no one cares. How else did the Freemasons pull the wool over our eyes? The companion to the Satanic Bible tells us that as well. By filling the world with fools. And who's the biggest fool in the eyes of Freemasonry? An atheist. From the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry. One who does not believe in the existence of God. Such a state of mind can only arise from the ignorance of stupidity. All this time, you're laughing at Christians and the Freemasons are laughing at you. Here's Brad Pitt wearing his Masonic ring and covering his eye. Now here's a genuine quote from Brad Pitt, the Freemason. In short, I could really try on something different for myself. That was Satanism. It's working out really well. I made a pact. That's why. You don't believe him? Bob Dylan does. And the hand sign they all do. Allow me to show you what it symbolizes. And now that you know what you know, it should make sense to you. It stands for 666. Yes, indeed. Satan's number foretold by Jesus Christ. Now just hang on, let me prove it to you. Here it is for all to see on this shirt design, worn by Guns N' Roses guitarist Slash. See the I in the middle of the six, repeated three times, at 666. In this one, the design in the shirt is clearly demonstrated by the person wearing it. Another example, the hand sign with three sixes on the shirt. Here's a movie poster, the hand sign, and the six on his lapel. Connect the dots. Here's Don Cheadle, the hand sign, and here he covers one eye with the dice. What's the number on the dice that he holds toward the camera? Six. There's literally three sixes that manifest in the hand sign itself, like this. That's why they do it. Here's Drake with the most obvious example holding up the hand sign with the all-seeing eye of Lucifer on his bicep. And here, blatantly connecting the six to the hand sign on the artwork to one of his songs. 
the hand sign over one eye, obviously signifying a six. This is proof. The number is mystical and it's grounded in reality and it's related to sex rituals within witchcraft. You'll see, I'll show you. But if that's not enough, there. Drake is clearly intending that hand sign to be a way of communicating the number 666. A hater of Christianity and Jesus Christ. But I wonder why. He has everything he desires. Christians aren't suppressing him. He doesn't hate Buddha or Muhammad. None of them do. No, no. Jesus is who they hate. But they protect Freemasonry by communicating its presence in their lives, not by word, but by symbols and signs. Disciples of Lucifer. While you don't believe it, they take it very seriously. And they mock you by displaying it in your face. They know the truth. The chief commander, the one at the top of the pyramid, is Satan. The God of this world, just like Jesus told you who he is. Britney Spears doing the 666 over the eye. And look at this. The devil's horns while she wears the seal of the US $1 bill. Designed by Freemasons. You know why now. You just have to stop denying it. Freemasonry is Satanism in disguise. This is how they tell you. Let's go to Britney's close friend, whom she tongue-kissed in front of the world, sexualized as these people are, and for all the girls out there to be inspired and corrupted by. Madonna. Wearing the same Masonic design as Britney. Triple six hand sign. The one eye symbolism and the vow of silence. The vow of silence with her fellow practitioner of witchcraft. The Masonic eye in the triangle behind her. And now, the upside down cross of Christ on her outfit. A member of the secret society who hates Jesus with a passion. As you can see here with Lucifer, the god of Freemasonry, giving her oral sex. Deep despisers of Christianity. Are you wondering why yet? The sign of the devil's horns here. Meaningfully placed and done with precise intent. Like with all of them. And here teaching her poor children to follow in her footsteps. Truly only God knows how many young people she's perverted in her career. All orchestrated by Freemasonry. Here's the founder of the Church of Satan again, Anton LaVey, showing the horn sign. The horned god of the witches, as illustrated by Una Woodruff in her book, Witches. And here, with a member of the Agora sect of Hinduism, partaking in a ritual of the oldest religion of the world. She's drinking blood here. From what? A human skull. Sound familiar? That's right. That's what all the high-level Freemasons do, except they use wine, until they themselves are invited into the secret religion. It's ritualistically done to gain magical abilities, not a myth. And look at a hand sign. It's also known as the El Diablo. Do you still think this hand sign is a joke or it's misunderstood or misrepresented by people like me? Look at the cover of Anton's other book called Satan Speaks. Look at the eye. He has one eye emphasized. Can you see? What about the image of Lucifer in the Satanic Temple? Look at the right eye. It's darkened. You ready for this? From the Bible. And this passage is thousands of years old. Woe to the worthless shepherd. His right arm shall be completely withered, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Where do you think this hatred for Jesus comes from? Do you think it's because we've outgrown it? Or because it speaks the truth? Who do you think this worthless shepherd with one eye darkened is? And who said, I am the good shepherd? Who said that? Jesus Christ is the good shepherd, not the worthless shepherd with one eye. You think this is all just a coincidence? Just hang tight a little longer and you will see some wonder. Here's Anton LaVey with Freemason Marilyn Manson, and here's Marilyn covering his eye. In case you forgot that this is the eye of Freemasonry, the international religion they all belong to. 
Here he is, giving the sign of the master of the second veil, the hidden hand of Freemasonry, along with his Masonic ring. You know how many presidents and journalists and common men have tried to expose Freemasonry? Or get it shut down, get it banned? Well, those days are long gone. Marilyn Manson, the Freemason who tears the Bible into pieces on stage during his performances, he captured the fundamental purpose of Freemasonry's existence very well when he said in an interview with Spin Magazine in 1996, Hopefully I'll be remembered as the person who brought an end to Christianity, echoing the dreams of grandeur, just like his spiritual father. Now Kesha, one eye symbolism of Freemasonry, the eye in the triangle, and the sign of silence. So she's a member. And behold, an inverted cross in her music video, inverted cross on her outfit, and a satanic pentagram on this outfit, just like the fit symbol of female Freemasonry. You think none of these Freemasons look like witches? Really? And none of these witches in the making? Remember, 90% of them don't know what they're serving or what they're doing there or why they're taking oaths of such silence and such penalty. Avril Lavigne does, showing her allegiance with the one-eye symbolism, participating in lesbianism in a video, influencing the masses, subtly stealing her innocence. And what's on her helmet? One eye. And doing the El Diablo with pentagrams at her concert. Anthony Bourdain with his one-eye symbolism. He was openly a hater of Christianity. And what kind of woman would suit a man like this? Well, a fellow member of the secret society who hates Christianity too, of course. Asia Argento. One-eye symbolism, again and again. The sign of Lucifer's horns. And this pose of his image. Remember the Baphomet. There's Asia mimicking its pose, complete with the finger position. Creatures with breasts and an erect penis and a goat's head. You know, things you find normal now. Thanks to international Freemasonry, normalizing evil and filth through multiple levels of and avenues of propaganda and influence, including television, movies, music, music videos, schools, education through legislation, through passing of laws to protect the evil nature. And of course, through your favorite idols. Chris Hemsworth, just your everyday good Aussie bloke? I'm afraid not. One eye symbolism and the sign of silence. Both of which mean he's taken all the disgusting oaths of Freemasonry under the penalty of death, thus catapulting him over the competition, never to promote Christian values or Jesus Christ again. The triple six hand sign, and now. See how the hand symbol makes sense? Amber Heard, who was married to this Freemason, who's best friends with this Freemason. I told you they only date, marry and associate with their secret society. Here with the triple six over one eye. And this tweet, I think it's a tweet, I don't know. Look at the one eye closed, darkened if you will, and identifying its meaning with the devil's hand symbol. Of course, she camouflages the whole thing with her misdirecting words for the dumb masses. But we can see through that now, right? Oh, look, it's Elon Musk replying. He's a fan of Amber Heard. Or is there more to it? Good sign, he says. The sign of the devil's horns. The fertility god. The sex god. That's what he's referring to. Why on earth would he point that out? You know why. But to be sure, let's go to his wife or girlfriend, Grimes. One eye. And whose eye is it? Do you know that too now? The God of this world. Who hates Jesus Christ just like she does. Two inverted crosses of Christ and the pentagram. And what about Elon's mother? Of course, all members of the secret society. Most of whom, most of us who never even knew it existed. Blink-182 initiated member with some of his secret brothers from the Lodge. Vow of Silence. Sign of the Devil. Cindy Lauper. All-seeing eye. Vow of Silence. 
the sign of the God of this world. Christian Bale, who thanked Satan at an award show, doing the sign of the master of the second veil, the hidden hand of Freemasonry. Ashley Tisdale, all seeing eye, social media post, and hanging out with her boyfriend, who proudly wears the satanic cross. You think they belong to the same religion? Of course they do. Bonnie Wright, one eye, and the satanic horns. John Cleese, I include him here because he's a well-known hater and mocker of Jesus Christ and Christianity. He got rich off it, and he's a proud Freemason, showing his allegiance. Motley Crue, Nikki Six, Tommy Lee, Vince Neil holding a cross upside down, and their album cover. Secretly Freemasons under oath while promoting Satanism in the open, doing their job and influencing the masses to hate Jesus and Christianity and to live a life of sin through seduction of their music. Secret Society member Jimi Hendrix hiding one eye and telling you about the secret powers of music. Nirvana, Kurt, bass player Chris, Dave Grohl, Dave and Jack Black making the sign of the pentagram, a geometric tool used in the magical curriculum, and Dave wearing his upside down cross. Hard to listen to all those beautiful songs he's written now. Courtney Love and her daughter glorifying the symbol of Satan, and Nirvana discovering something on a road trip while covering some numbers up. Proud Satanists, all secret Freemasons. Here's Quentin Tarantino. Now that we know what we know, can you see through this picture to reach its true meaning? The all-seeing eye, whose identity is revealed by the hand gesture, which is 666, with the vow of silence and throwing up the devil's horns, which I hope you can finally see means something. Share. Can this get any more obvious now? The sign of the vow of silence being made with the sign of the devil telling you that the secret which isn't to be spoken of is Lucifer, right there in front of you, speaking through signs and symbols, like Confucius said, signs and symbols rule the world, not words nor laws. Cardi B, I just want you to see a few connections between the one-eye symbolism, the triple six hand sign, and the horned god symbol. Eddie Izzard, all-seeing eye, hidden hand, and mimicking the horns of the Masonic god. Oh, but men love the darkness rather than light, as the scriptures put it so solemnly. Look at how precise that statement is. With high-ranking Freemasons loving the darkness so much that they define the darkness itself as light. Watch. In MasonicWorld.com, an article by Worshipful Master John Alexander, who has journeyed from the lower degrees to the high and sublime degrees. This is the religion of our leaders and celebrities, so listen. He writes... Every ritual from the high and sublime degrees that I have ever read contains the statement, I beg you to observe that the light of a master mason is darkness visible. I put it to you, brethren, that this is the most accurate description of Masonic light that you will ever find. Think about what you just heard, because this is what they learn. Masonic light is darkness. And this is before they enter the real religion of Freemasonry, Satanism. That's why in the high degrees the ritual states to the candidate, I beg of you to observe, meaning to ponder, to contemplate what they mean by the statement. My 32nd degree grandmaster, he never understood. And they don't push you, remember? It's all a screening process to weed out the weaklings who can't handle the truth. The truth that this is how the all-seeing eye sees things. Evil is good and good is evil. Look at what he says immediately afterwards. In keeping with our normal Masonic practice of burying our important truths deeply, the ritual sets out to immediately disguise this truth. Usually people bury their lies, but Masons bury their truths. Because their truth is that God is the devil and that we are in hell. So everything has to be flipped on its head in order for things to make sense in this place where lust creates life, where might is right where compassion is weakness, and of course, in order to succeed. 
Look here, with another Freemason of the highest degree, Helena Blavatsky, she writes in her book, The Secret Doctrine. Doctrine means belief. So the book is called The Secret Belief. The Secret Belief of Freemasonry. She says, The sons of God, of whom Satan was one, all those spiritual beings were called angels of darkness because that darkness is absolute light. Do you see how far they go to protect and glorify the darkness? Because men love darkness rather than light. If these were just randoms next door or some minor cult, I wouldn't be telling you about them and I really wouldn't care this much. But these are not randoms. These are our heroes. These are those who have crept into the power structure very slowly since 1717 when the first Masonic Grand Lodge was organized to overthrow Christianity and the world. These are those who we admire, trust. And these are those who have perverted our culture with one hand, the hidden hand, while upholding it with the other hand. So you can never call them out because they're on charities, nursing homes and children's hospitals in the open while they propagate smut, violence, debt, and of course atheism in secret. While a plethora of everyday distractions are endlessly supplied to us through entertainment and news, plowing through our lives. That's political Freemasonry, politicizing everything, including entertainment. Supplying you with their heroes and their idols. And now that 95% of the world have been spiritually disarmed by thinking, oh, the world is a good place and Jesus is a myth, they've rigged our infrastructure and they're about to bring it down so they can build up their new world from the ashes. A completely new system of life on this planet is coming. I promise you that. In a book called Satan's Master Plan, LeVay affirms his commitment to destroy Christianity. Now check out Anton LeVay. Once again, in perfect parallel with Freemasonry, stating in the Satanic Bible, waiting at the darkness visible for that bright and morning star. Bright and morning star being a reference to Lucifer. The exact same expression as the Freemason and worshipful master, John Alexander, that we just heard describing Masonic light. Darkness visible. Identical language. Because Freemasonry is Satanism in disguise. This is what the initiated queen of Freemasonry, Helena Blavatsky, says of the bulk of Freemasons in her book. The knowledge of their members about the full signification of their symbols is nil. And that's of course true to the Freemasons listening. How do I know she's a Freemason? Because her diploma was reproduced on page 66 in Freemasonry Universal, Volume 5, Part 2, in the Autumn Equinox, 1929. And also because she's displaying the Masonic penalty sign, like all these Freemasons. Drew Barrymore, all seeing eye, vow of silence. And see, the symbol of her secret God. Elijah Wood, one eye, hidden hand of Freemasonry. And the Devil's Horns. Sammy Davis Jr., the eye of the Freemasons is the all seeing eye of Lucifer. Because here he is with Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satan. So when you see him hanging with other celebrities like Bill Cosby, can you be sure that they belong to the same religion? Sure you can. I told you they don't hang out with the uninitiated. You think the Rat Pack weren't Freemasons? Well, here's their leader, Frank Sinatra, doing the hidden hand.
introduced to the music industry. Because I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out, and so I sold my soul to the devil. On that, have you considered maybe doing more acting? I only had a few lines. It was fantastic, but I can't really tell you anything else. But um, but I, it, it was... Sure it, you can. Uh, I know, <laughs> I can't. It's very secretive. It's a very secret society. And I'm like, if you don't get this right now, I swear to Lucifer, I'm gonna...
poker face thing with your sexuality. Um, when I was um, making love to my old boyfriend, I used to think about women sometimes. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> I'm sure he was delighted when you told me. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> You may feel a small Christ prick. Christ prick.
it's just, I, I'd like to, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Satan. I'd like to thank Louis Armstrong. I'd like to thank Neil Young. I'd like to thank the Rollins Band. I'd like to thank Bob Marley. I'd like to thank the Marx Brothers. I'd like to thank Salvador Dali. I'd like to thank Louis Bluewell. I'd like to thank Miles Davis. I'd like to thank, thank uh, the Parliament Funkadelic. And uh, I'd like to thank you, too.
there is a fork in the road that's approaching you. And you can stay on the path which curves to the left by denying the existence of Satanism in the fullness that you've been shown. Or you can surrender to the truth and take the right hand path. Now where that road could lead is the sweetest risk you'll ever take. Are you still pretending that this one eye religion of Freemasonry isn't Luciferianism? See, this here is the biggest obstacle you'll ever face. The very thing that could lead you to the prize is the very thing that will keep you from it. The reality of international Satanism. In the shadow of Christianity, Satanism has always been there. With every church that sprung up, so did its invisible enemy, the Satanic Church. Growing out of sight and out of mind from this to this. And Christianity has long been deprived of its power, as clearly demonstrable by the absolute lack of preaching against the institution of Freemasonry. Satanism's magic cloak, Satanism's magic trick, that's Freemasonry. And how they are laughing for now. So Freemasons are now are at the helm of the power structure of society, which means Satanism rules. And they're making their move for the new order of the ages. Are you that besotted by this evil world that you'll even deny the existence of secret societies? And what about the American president, John Kennedy? Was he just a nut job like me? Warning us about an international secret society with an international secret plot. A Freemason trying to tell you and the world about Freemasonry. Shot through the head. I've shown you who they are. I've shown you how they successfully operate with degrees of initiations and horrific and illegal oaths of secrecy. And I've shown you why they are a secret society. I've proven it to you. And only now that I've done that, I can show you in this many minutes what the shocking new order that Freemasonry has so cautiously been guiding us toward actually looks like. And of course, you won't believe that either. By now, there's a 98.5% chance that you belong to the world. And in that case, the world can do will do and is doing whatever the hell it wants to do with you. And when all you have is the world, you'll do anything to hold on to it. Christian or not, most of you will follow this world straight to the slaughterhouse in the name of peace, safety and progress. Clinging to it. Because all you love is inside it. Blissfully ignoring people like me, warning you of who's really in charge of it. Men, women, Actors, singers, businessmen and politicians, all interlocked, whose God is named Lucifer. You've seen it with your own eyes, but now you can hear it with your own ears from this 33 degree Freemason in person, just in case the Masonic literature wasn't enough for you. Okay, find Lucifer for me. Pure, virtuous, wholesome, innocent individual that's out to help people. Lucifer is? Yeah. Luc say that again. Lucifer is a pure, holy, virtuous. Virtuous. Now, see the Lucifer that God created? That's the same one. Oh, man, this is great. I'm going to put this on the internet. Oh, uh, God uh, bless you, Amen. brother. Because that's exactly what the Shriners and Masons teach is that Lucifer, Lucifer is light. No. And you're, what you're about confirming those hospitals? They, they, they you know what, sir? <clears throat> Jesus said, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did not, we did not do these good deeds in your name. And you'll say, away from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Jesus said, in Matthew chapter 5. You've been bred from childhood to fall for the biggest lie ever told, that Satan doesn't exist. And if Satan doesn't exist, well, then neither does Jesus. And while your heroes, heroes and idols, know full well that they do exist. And when I say you've been bred from childhood, I mean just that. Walter Disney was a high-ranking Freemason. He is a Masonic stamp dedicated to him, and he's very exclusive Club 33, which stands for the 33 degrees of Freemasonry. And who's the god of the 33rd degree Freemason, Walt Disney? 
Or well, Walter hides the answer in plain sight, because that's what Freemasons do. Firstly, the God of Mr. Disney is wicked. See how they veil evil with a cloak of innocence? What does the word veil itself conceal? Secondly, Walter's God is horny, symbolized by the horned God of the witches. And we all know Walt Disney loves magic, which is witchcraft. So the depictions of sex are hidden in plain sight as well. Remember, lust produces life, not love. So lust is purity. Lust is love for the high degree Freemason. And thirdly, he hides the number of his God's name in the open as well. No, no, that's not a triple six he's seeing interwoven in the design. That would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? Not even when they separate the sixes from the name, all three of them, and place them together for you like this, in plain sight. No, not even then will people see. Do you think things are any better 50 years later? Here's the eye of Lucifer in the, Nick, in the Nickelodeon channel and his lightning flash. Remember what they actually believe about Satan. From Freemason Helena Blavatsky's book, The Secret Doctrine, meaning the secret belief, who is Satan? He is the angel who was proud enough to believe himself God, brave enough to buy his independence at the price of eternal suffering and torture, beautiful enough to have adored himself in full divine light, strong enough to still reign in darkness amidst agony. Helena Blavatsky is suggested as recommended reading by the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry right here. And the Grand Pontiff of Universal Freemasonry speaking of Lucifer, Satan and the Devil on page 407 writes that to the initiate the devil is the instrument of liberty or free will. That's who Lucifer is to them, okay? To show you how little you know of who you're dealing with and the extent of this religion's influence and power, not to mention their plans, let me jump ahead for a minute. Watch this. This is Lucius Trust. The Lucius Trust is a non-for-profit service organization incorporated in the United States in 1922. And their objective from Lucius Trust website, dedicated to the establishment of a new and better way of life for everyone in the world, based on the fulfillment of the divine plan for humanity. The divine plan. A new way of life. Like a new world system. Like a new order. Now you want to see who they work for? The Lucius Trust has consultative status with the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations. The United Nations, the UN. They consult the United Nations of the world. They advise the United Nations of the world. Now look at this. The Lucius Trust's publishing company was founded in the early 1920s as Lucifer Publishing Company. The Lucius Trust says that the name was probably chosen to honor Lucifer. What on earth does a modern day consultant to the most powerful and progressive force engaged in uniting all nations under one banner, the UN, have to do with the fallen angel of the Holy Bible? The one that Jesus Christ told us would manifest on earth as a world ruler to deceive the whole world into a new world system. Yes, that angel. Why on earth would they honor that angel? Well, that's easy. They were founded by Freemasons. Incorporated into the United States by Alice Bailey and her husband, Foster. Well, here's a book written by Foster the Freemason, The Spirit of Freemasonry, published by Lucius Press, also known as Lucifer Publishing. And one last thing. If you dig a little, you'll find an article on their website, The Esoteric Meaning of Lucifer on a modern company website with consultative powers to the United Nations of all things. Wow, I really hope you're seeing this. In the article it states that the Baileys had enormous respect for H.P. Blavatsky, who stated in her renowned occult book, The Secret Doctrine, on page 245 in a chapter called Holy Satan. It is Satan who was the God of our planet and the only God. 
Then the article goes on to say that the Baileys sought to elicit a deeper understanding of the sacrifice made by Lucifer. Everything has been reversed. Evil is good. Jesus is the enemy. And Lucifer sacrificed himself for you, not Jesus Christ. The one who washed the feet of his disciples and the only one they fear. Modern progressive atheists do not influence world events, people. Satanists do. Remember the goal of the Lucius Trust? The fulfillment of the divine plan for humanity. Yeah, the divine plan exposed by Jesus Christ in the Gospels. Hence their war on the Bible and the abolition of it from the school system and even from modern Christian churches who dare not preach from the book of Revelation. Your most highly evolved and contemporary leaders of, of society secretly believe that in the theos theosophical perspective, the descent of these solar angels was not a fall into sin or disgrace, but rather an act of great sacrifice. They believe in the fallen angels and their revolt against God, as revealed in the Bible, led by the devil, the chief commander of Freemason Bob Dylan, remember? These people make contact with these fallen angels, with the royal art of Freemasonry called witchcraft. Please stick around. Let me show you that. How many solar angels does the Bible say followed Lucifer out of this heaven, heavenly realm? A third of the angels makes 33%. Does that number sound familiar yet? 33 degrees of Freemasonry. Just a coincidence. From the Gospels again which expose these people every time. Do not let anyone who delights in false humility and the worship of angels and who has access to some visionary world beguile you, trick you of your reward. You still don't believe that the false humility of the charitable fraternity of the Freemasons is behind it all? Well, Blavatsky also published a magazine called Lucifer with a woman named Annie Besant. And here's a letter written by Annie herself with the official Masonic letterhead. And he, Annie, signs off as a 33rd degree Freemason. Printed also on the left-hand corner, Annie Besant, 33rd degree, and a member of the Supreme Council. Undeniable and undisputable, please don't make me prove it to you over and over. Have you caught a glimpse of who you're dealing with yet? They're all Freemasons, high-ranking. And they're all buffeted by a plethora of Masonic dupes who don't know any of this because they can't decipher the symbols and they don't care to try. They're proud and boastful and defensive of their beloved fraternity in which they get to rub shoulders with the most important people of their suburbs, cities and towns and in which they got on their knees to take blood oaths of death calling other old decrepitated men worshipful master yet still they think it's innocent and has nothing to hide. Delusional and lost almost beyond hope. Some of them still think it's a Christian organization, just like the founder of the, the Satanic Church described. What do you get when you carefully conceal Satanism with Christianity? You get Freemasonry. People, Satanism is at the core of our world and it is behind the new order that will be implemented soon enough. It will be all done through deception. You'll be tricked. Remember how I told you that the all-seeing eye sees that we're in hell? Well, the massive witch and Freemason, Helena, says so right here. Satan is the minister of God, Lord of the seven mansions of Hades, the angel of the manifest worlds. Hades means hell. Manifest worlds means earth. This is who you're dealing with. This is the religion and the beliefs of the rich, powerful, and famous. And yes, politicians. Do you want to go back to sleep? You can sleep after this? Well, wait till I show you what they're going to do to you. Coming up in this many minutes. For those who simply refuse to believe that Bono or Scott Morrison or Prince can be Luciferians because they all go to church, let me show you another Masonic ritual they do. And this is before Satanism or Luciferianism is revealed to the candidate 
And then you tell me if Bono or Scott are capable of secretly believing in Lucifer. It all starts here with the Masonic apron. Different kinds signifying different grades. Have you guessed what it's hiding yet? The genitals. Pretty obvious. Like everything else they hide once you can see. The genitals are the true working tools of a mason. Freemasonry is foundationally a sex cult, like Satanism, because it all starts with sex, doesn't it? Life itself starts with sex. So the mystical force of the true God of Freemasonry hides in the hidden part of the human body. That's the Holy of Holies, covered by the Masonic apron, the seat of God, the seat of Lucifer. See he was Satanist King Diamond's artwork? The eye is attached to the horn god, but look at where the eye starts, from the waist down. That's where the apron of a mason begins. And the one eye of Freemasonry is also the one eye of the penis, where life generates and springs forth. See the openly hidden secret of the Masonic square and compass now? You're looking at the sex act. That's the female in missionary position, and that's the male mounting her. The sex act. And the eye in the middle, with these emanating rays, is the orgasm and the ejaculation of the penis. See life shooting forth. That's how they see the sun and the earth too. The sun is the visible penis of their true God, shooting forth life continually. The light itself is the mystical sperm of the God of this world. The sun and penis generate life, while the earth and female womb produce life. The letter G, when replacing the I in the middle of the square and compass, stands for generation, sexual generation. The practical aspect of Freemasonry and Satanism's religion is that of a sex cult. You see Rod Stewart telling you he's a Freemason by displaying the hidden hand of Freemasonry, also known as the master of the second veil, and look at his other hand, taking the Masonic apron's place for covering his penis which is the Holy of Holies, the seat of God for the Mason, and from the Grand Pontiff of Freemasonry, Albert Pike. Hence the significancy of the phallus, the penis, or of its inoffensive substitute, the obelisk. Straight from the horse's mouth, the erect penis graces us, or should I say disgraces us, with its presence in every country in the world, marking its territory, the Masonic obelisk, in our face, everywhere making its bold statement, yelling, screaming in silence. This is another reason why we're considered the ignorant and stupid masses. Another example of hidden in plain sight. And here's an erect penis on the front page of the female Freemasonry magazine, The Eastern Star. I once stood in front of this obelisk in Sydney and I must have asked 30 people what they thought it was. Not a single one of them knew. To the Freemasons of the higher degrees, the whole universe is in fact one giant and continuous sex act. This is the structure of Freemasonry. You can take this path to the top or this path. And way up here, you have the Order of the Mystic Shrine. The Mystic Shrine is what's found behind the Masonic apron, because that's where life comes from. That's the Mystic Shrine. You have to be a 32nd degree Freemason to be asked to join the Order of the Mystic Shrine. And then... Once you're inside, you can be invited to join this order, the Royal Order of Jesters. See, Freemasonry is like Russian dolls, and Satanism is at its center. Look at some of the pins and the pell designs for the Order of the Jesters. You can only join them unless you're at least a 32nd degree Freemason. Sex and debauchery. Erections the adoration of the phallus, masturbation, devils, demons, fallen angels, this one here mocking holiness, reference to the anus, and sodomy, anything to mock the Bible. This disgusting one has King Momus sitting on a female's face and hidden in plain sight is the square and the compass for those who have eyes to see. Bestiality, yes indeed. 
this bagpipe player has an erection and the sheep is running away scared. Self-explanatory. This one, this character has an emphasized eye, if you can see that, and the skull has an emphasized eye also. The wink and the one eye of the Indian. And the secrecy, the symbols of secrecy. On the far right here, the monkey covers his groin area, symbolizing the Masonic apron. And the black and white dogs, well, they symbolize the checkered floorboard of the Masonic lodge which is sexualized male and female principles. The horned god, where evil and good don't exist. And in the first degree, Masons are given a Bible stamped with a square and compass, oblivious to the inherent mockery and the foundation of the whole fraternity, as alluded to here with a genuine royal order of jester's private lapel. This is a certificate that a jester receives after his initiation and you see here their patron is named King Momus and he was a god or a daemon which is a variant of the word demon who was expelled from heaven as the legend goes sounds just like Lucifer because it is did Freemasonry disassociate themselves from the tax exempt branch of Freemasonry known as the Jesters well no they didn't because, I mean, this is rare footage of an event within within the Lodge. Now, I'm sorry about the quality of this, but this is a Masonic Lodge. So for Masons that want to say that the Jesters are contrary to Masonry, well, look. Look at these dirty old men. Masters of the Lodge with s sublime morals. All married, probably all have daughters and granddaughters. Yet still, this inside the lodge but for you it should be obvious because you can see the square encompass the sex act and the all-seeing eye right in the middle i told you the satanism was the oldest religion in the world and it is the sex act was ritualized and organized as a religion before we called it satanism but satan has always been the god the horny god the horned god of these sex cults all of them from samaria to egypt to greece and so on that's called that's called paganism and the real bible of the freemasons and the pagans the one not written by hand the one that's older than any book the one that supersedes all the rest in age thus making it the purest and most unadulterated word of god in the eyes of the freemasons is nature nature is their bible and before you think there's nothing wrong with that Wait a second, because you're not thinking straight. Ask a Mason whether he be a first degree or a 33rd degree. What is Freemasonry? And the universal go-to answer is this. A peculiar system of morality veiled in allegory and illustrated by symbols. Now, why would you need to veil your morals? Because in their peculiar system, evil is good and good is evil. That's Satanism 101. A peculiar system of morals. That should tell you something. That should tell you everything. Why would your morals need to be a secret? Because their deeds are in fact evil. Glorifying the laws of nature where cruelty and self-obsession obsession are virtuous characteristics. That's nature. Nature is as cruel as she is kind. The checkered floorboard where everything is legal. It's Christianity that lives in reverse. The first shall be last. Love your enemies. The meek shall inherit the earth. These are unholy and unnatural concepts in the eyes of visible nature, the nature of Freemasonry, which is Satanism. What the Freemasons really mean by this morality veiled in allegory is that they're allowed to steal because nature allows it. They're allowed to kill because nature allows it. They're allowed to commit adultery because nature isn't monogamous. They're allowed to lie indulge in all their god-given senses especially sexual because nature encourages it as long as no one finds out under oath jesus said narrow is the road that leads to life and broad is the road that leads to destruction the freemason of the century says no true mason can be narrow for his lodge is the divine expression of all broadness because broad are the divine 
laws of nature. While they glorify those laws, Christianity breaks those laws. It becomes supernatural because only then can you love your enemy. And so it goes that Christianity is despised by Freemasonry, the real Freemasons, because their Bible is nature. And by nature, they know the personality traits of their God, Satan, because he's the God of this world, just as the Freemasons, the enemies of mankind, say that he is. And just like Jesus said he was too. So they believe that Jesus is evil because he denies human nature and burdens us with the knowledge of sin. Observable nature, that's what guides the Masons ethics and the Masons morals. That's why they're called free Masons. Believe you me, because they're free from moral obligations, free from sin, from guilt. They're free from Jesus Christ. These people are introducing this new system of the world, this new age. You're going to miss Christianity when it's gone. Mark my words. Because you have no rights in the eyes of nature, which is the Bible of Freemasonry and Satanism. And soon that will become painfully plain as a fact of life. Now, please, I give you fair warning of what's to come in this presentation. It's very disturbing, or at least it should be. But cause to celebrate follows the disgusting things you're about to see. This is precisely where my own life and well-being come into danger. So let me say this right now. If you hear of my sudden death or of my possession of half a kilogram of cocaine or child porn or my overdose or my suicide, remember this video. And if something so unfortunate should happen to me, may it serve as a catapult to you and as a remembrance of the conclusion to this presentation, which is this many minutes away. Do I really think they're going to make me pay for this video for breaking my oaths? Well, seeing as people are so far gone, lost in the illusion that secret societies have constructed around you and inside you, and seeing as they can simply pull this video down, close my account and whatnot, no, I don't think they'll come after me. But if they do, let me say this to the Grand Lodge that orders my demise right now. Jesus wins. So in saying all that, here we go. Is Scott Morrison a Satanist? I'll let you answer that. Here is a ritual that Scott and every Freemason from this guy to this girl have performed. There is one Masonic apron you'll never see being worn. This one. And when I bumped into it, I thought it was a fake. Until I found this. In Richardson's Monitor Freemasonry. Official Masonic Literature. Written for Masons only. On this page. What is that head doing there? You'll find out in a sec. Let's read the description of the apron worn in this degree.